What will Sony show during E3 2017? Here to discuss with me is Sex Sharps. Hey man, great to have you on. Yeah, it's great to be here. A lot of sexy things is what they're probably going to show off. Exactly. I mean, if we look at last year's E3 and the year before that, it was really surprise, surprise, game, game, game. So if they are really going to do it like the same as then, then we are really in for a treat. So yeah, in this video we will discuss what we think will happen during this show. Let's just do, uh, yeah, you start with one prediction, we discuss it a little bit, then I will start with one prediction, we discuss it a little bit, and yeah, probably we will have some of the same predictions, so we will then just, yeah, discuss it with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it will be, yeah, I think it will be a good show. So wh what do you think? What, what's your first, like, bet here? God of War will have a trailer yeah. demo with a release date. Ooh. And the release You're date... You're on the 2017 boat? Oh, I'm on the 2017 boat, man, because I think yeah. it's going to release Holiday to counteract the Scorpio. Yeah, and I, I think, think so it's going to well. win that war because Kratos no. does not lose. I made a video recently about God of War with two um, like uh, yeah scenarios on why I think this game might slip to 2018 or might release 2017 because uh, Sony has yeah I mean if we look at the like last years Horizon was delayed from the holiday of 2016 to early 2017 and um, like Uncharted 4 was also delayed from the holiday to like yeah the first part of the next year and I think that they are they are just sitting on this game i mean it was playable in december 2016 the the game director or producer said that he could play the game from beginning to end so they're probably like fixing bugs now they're really polishing it up right now so i think that they are really looking at the red dead redemption 2 release date for this one because they have a a probably yeah some sort of deal with it they already announced some deal for the online uh, part of the, that game and maybe they will have a bundle with that as well so mm -hmm. if that game is maybe also releasing in November we are now hearing October stuff but still you don't that's they all will already push that as some sort of exclusive quote unquote so to then also have God of War will not make sense but the chances are so high that Red Dead Redemption 2 will not make it will be delayed to 2018 so maybe then they will say okay let's put God of War there or yeah like you said the Scorpio but maybe Sony's like okay if the Scorpio is really interesting if they're really like doing a great job then let's put God of War there otherwise we will be fine with our yeah sort of third party push uh, for games because they also have Call of Duty and we will totally mention that in this video as well um, yeah I mean Battlefront 2 so. If, if you really look at it, all, all Sony really has to do to counteract the Scorpio is look at the price point, bundle one or two games with a PlayStation 4 Pro, and then they just completely killed it. I mean, it's it's not really that difficult of a task unless Microsoft has a, a grand strategy that we don't know yet. But if they yeah. go with the same old, same old Microsoft strategy, it's not going to end well for them. Um, no. So, I think yeah. they will do something else. I, I, I really hope they do. I mean, I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to you know paint doom and gloom here. I'm just saying that you know Phil Spencer has all the cards in his hand and he needs to play them perfectly. And if he does, yeah. it's going to end really, really well for them. If it doesn't, it's not going to end well for them. So, because no, I mean, it, Sony has a lot of really good cards in their hands. I mean, they don't really have to play them that well and they'll still win. Um, it's just a matter of how much will they win. And I think God of War is a, a really good... Um, piece to that equation and I think that they're gonna play it um, really really late I would say in the holiday I don't think it will be an early holiday um, if anything I think it would probably be I would have to I don't want to put it in November but I feel like it would be a November game the Scorpio oh the uh, God, God of War God of War oh yeah. sorry yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 I agree yeah I agree because I think slipping it to December is already too close to Christmas um and yeah that's that doesn't make sense yeah it wouldn't make sense so yeah I mean the the previous like first party games they really pushed out to uh yeah to in December was like the f September 1st that was of course with uh or December sorry uh, was with The Lost Guardian, they they could not delay that game out of 2016 again. So that's why they picked like the mo the latest date that would make sense. And that was also like really early December, so mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay, I think that you're right. I think that we will probably see it because I don't think that Red Dead Redemption 2 will make it in 2017. I, I, disagree, I disagree, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, it, it wouldn't I mean, be unlike Rockstar to, to do yeah, every Yeah, every big Rockstar game in recent memory was delayed. Yeah, and for so, good reason. I mean, they want to make yeah, sure it's polished totally. out the door, and so I respect them for it. Yeah, they will still sell enough copies, so it doesn't yep. really matter. They don't need the holiday season for that. Okay, awesome. Let, let's do some more third party then uh, while we're at it. Let, let's do that Call of Duty. I think that's totally Call of Duty that will show it again. Um, it will be called World War II. The rumors are already circling around. Maybe by the time you watch this video, they've already announced it. Um, and yeah, speaking of Activision, Destiny 2 will also be there. Like, they already have some uh, exclusive content announced. So, yeah, they will just show them back to back, maybe. Do some sort of Activision minute. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see some awesome gameplay. But la last year, they didn't really. I mean, they, they just showed some some quick gameplay, I think. So not not a lot of gameplay during E3. Um, and, but Destiny 2 is, of course, a very huge game. And it is going to release in September. So they can use all the push they want. And I think the Sony stage, of course, makes a lot of sense. Because Activision doesn't do their own, like, E3 press conference. Uh, but yeah, this is a very safe bet, of course. But it's cool to see both games, I think. Yeah, it's it's definitely a surefire bet that Call of Duty will be shown and also Destiny 2 will be shown because Activision's always had a good relationship with um, Sony ever since the PlayStation 4. So um, that's that's something that over the you know course of a few years you're just gonna sort of be like eh, yeah they're they're just basically treating Sony's conference as their conference and so we we will see the new Call of Duty we'll see Destiny. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's gonna be a, a good thing and it's gonna be mm. interesting to see with World War II if it sort of captures the feeling of World War II or if it's <laughs> yeah. just gonna be a Michael Bay World War II experience, which is what no one wants and that's why Call of Duty has been declining over the years. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I just wanted to touch on Red Dead um, really quick because I don't think we mentioned this. Um, we both do agree that there's gonna be a gameplay demo, correct? Also, yeah, if Even it's, if it's still slated for 2017, I think that if it's not slated, they, yeah, I don't know, it's, it will be interesting. Okay. But Sony has the deal, uh, if they are going to show it at E3, then it will be at the Sony press conference, not at Microsoft press conference. Yeah. But maybe they will mention it, say they have a bundle coming, they did it with GTA 5 as well, that was of course also like releasing uh, around that time that we think uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is now releasing, so November. Um, yeah, I, I, will, I think they will mention it, but I'm not like locked in on a trailer or a gameplay demo. Really depends on if the game well, is still is, coming out. Today. That is where we differ, because I think they'll at least show a trailer, gameplay okay. demo if it is coming out um, in 2017. So, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That, that will be insane if they, if they do that, of course. Yeah, so it's obviously going to be a show where if you didn't go to the bathroom before it started, you're going to have a really hard time making it to the bathroom without missing like three or four trailers. <laughs> and I yeah. think that um, one of the things that might aid you in your conquest of the bathroom is a Days Gone demo. I think it's a, a very <laughs> likely thing. And I think yeah. it's a it's something that will kind of make people like, eh, you know, I, I kind of need to get a drink. To... I, I need to go to the bathroom. We already yeah. kind of know what it is. And yeah, that, yeah, that's right. I think that, that this E3 demo for Days Gone will be super important because right now I know that a lot of people are like, hmm, I'm st I still don't know about this game. I mean, we first saw this more interesting trailer. You will see the footage right now that yeah, it sort of set the stage for this game. And then the gameplay started and it was like, okay, it looks pretty generic. Okay, the zombies are not really zombies. They live, they also sleep and stuff like that, okay? There's more to this, but the art style and a million of zombies, you just say like an AK, you, you're shooting them. It didn't really, yeah, feel that exciting. So hopefully they'll have a new demo. Um, yeah, that will prove otherwise. But when do you think this game will come out? Do you think that they will talk about this? I, I think they might talk about it if it does come out this year. It has to be so. it has to be before the holiday season. Yeah, it totally. would get it would get murdered so badly 
if it came out holiday and i think that out of all the exclusives that sony has coming up days gone is the most uninspired and probably the one that will probably shoot in the 70s metacritic wise it just doesn't yeah. look like it's gonna be that good and of course we haven't seen like a ton of gameplay or anything like that so this is all just me thinking off of the first re- like the first demo that we saw yeah it just doesn't feel like the, it doesn't give you the awe that a sony exclusive no. usually does and so yeah. that's why i say that and we've already seen a lot of zombies and a variety of other games or zombie s mm-hmm. type people and with another game that we think will show up to some capacity coming out sometime in the near future it's also kind of like well you yeah. know that game's there so it's to be fair cares. though um the games from sony ben that is creating this game have been really really awesome they made the resistance retribution game on the psp they made the uh uncharted golden abyss game so okay. that was pretty awesome right i'll see so, that so so gameplay wise gameplay wise it'll probably be solid and polished but the yeah. writing is probably where it will lack and that's that's what they, that what can really get a game in like the the high 70s or mid 70s or even yeah. lower sometimes is the writing yeah. so i don't know i i um, i, I can't they will say prove I'm, us wrong i can't even say i'm cautiously optimistic i don't want a zombie game but that's just me that's my opinion maybe someone's really hyped for this game and down in the comments what do you guys think like is this something yeah. you guys care for yeah i i see mixed comments but let's move over to the next one uh one thing over, uh, about the days gone release date I think that they will maybe announce it and it will be February 2018 because yeah, then you're Safe like bet. a little bit yeah, like the Horizon uh, thing. I mean that did yeah that that. I mean it's a new IP just like Horizon, although the hype for Horizon seems to be yeah higher than this one. But I still think that yeah, releasing it in holiday or even October, September, September you also got Destiny. So mm-hmm. yeah, it, it's not yeah, it, it will it will need room to breathe, and I think that early 2018 will be that so let's move over to one of my predictions i think that detroit become human will once again be there of course a game that has been announced for a pretty long time paris games week 2014 if i'm 14 if i'm not mistaken and the game from quantic dream of course the guys behind heavy rain and beyond two souls uh on the ps3 but now it seems like they're only releasing one game on this generation of uh, consoles and that will be detroit become human but hopefully we will finally i mean I don't need to see more personally I'm like yeah give me the game already because I really want to play it I know what I what I can expect but they will probably show maybe some new characters there should be a lot of characters that you can play in the game so I think that we will maybe see another trailer from some other like yeah set piece that there is in the game because yeah you have a lot of set pieces that can really go uh, yeah depending on the choices you make so I think the Detroit but no mention of a release date yet or yeah i think it's also 2018 but hopefully i'm wrong more than hopefully. likely um when you mentioned um they'll only be releasing one game on the platform are you talking about exclusively on the platform because beyond two souls was on the playstation 4 but it was also on the 3 as well yeah yeah i mean like yeah really for this hardware because okay. yeah beyond two souls and heavy rain were just like ports of course so. they were really yeah. sexy ports though <laughs> That, that, uh, yeah, I mean, those <laughs> games always look great, so can't yeah. wait to play. Yeah, I, I, th- I think you're on point with um, Detroit. I mean, it's it's one of those games that I'm really looking forward to. It's one of the reasons why I did pick up a PlayStation 4 Pro, because mm-hmm. Quantic Dream is just incredible at what they do. I mean, it, the, yeah. the game's going to look incredible, and graphically, it's going to have good storytelling. It's going to have a lot of different branching story elements to it. It's just going to be a Quantic Dream game, and that is a dream for me. So, yeah, I, I yeah. think you're spot on with that. So, let's move over to some new stuff. Um, because, yeah, we mentioned all the games that we are... I mean, we haven't mentioned, like, one really big game and another really big game. Those games are probably far off. Let's discuss them later. But let's do another... Like, we know that a lot of what a lot of Sony first-party studios are working on, but we don't know that um yeah what sucker punch is working on the guys of course responsible for uh infamous they already released infamous second son then in 2014 as well infamous first light but now they've been quiet it's it's been three years they're cooking something up we know it's probably a new ip so yeah i think we will see that new ip we will 
it will get the Days Gone treatment or the God of War treatment. Maybe they will start with it to grab people's attention or maybe they will end with it. Uh, I think that they will really show it. And I did some digging in a, in a, in a video about uh, what Sucker Punch has been up to. And uh, two things, uh, yeah, kind of came to mind. One, that it's probably an RPG that they're working on. So that, that would be interesting. And also that um, I think that the game is still far off. So they are, yeah, of course, they probably started after creating First Light, the standalone DLC for Infamous Second Son. But they really have been, yeah, just brainstorming what they want to do and stuff like that. So I really think that we will see this game 2000, late 2018 at the earliest, but I think we will totally get a uh, reveal at the E3 press conference. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty safe. I mean, you don't think they're they're gonna do an infamous third son or second light? No, no, mean... no, no, no. It's, it's done. It's done. <laughs> third son. <laughs> Sounds second terrible. Second I'm, I'm, I'm of course. I'm of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But no, no, no. I don't think that they will that they will go for the infamous. I mean. We, yeah. we see it. We see it with a lot of Sony uh, first-party studios. They make like three games for yeah for the franchise. They first like really made, and then they move on. We saw it with uh, in- uh, Naughty Dog, of course. But Uncharted was more beloved than the Infamous franchise, and the last Infamous game was not their best one. And yeah, I think that they're ready for something new. So uh, yeah. yeah, bring it on. Yeah, it, it makes sense. I definitely agree. yeah totally. Um, speaking so, of stuff that will be probably pretty late, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. So we saw like a little tiny, you know, teaser for it last year, and I think this year we might see a, a short gameplay trailer, not a demo, because yeah. I don't think it's at that point yet. I think it's probably yeah. gonna be 2018, 2019. Uh, but I think we'll at least see a short, you know, gameplay trailer showing a little bit of progress and maybe teasing a possible release window, but not a hard release date. No, I, I don't think that they will they will leave the like release window out of it because that that's really something that Sony learned as well with the previous E3s. They mentioned for the first time they showed Uncharted 4 that 2015. Yeah, we all know that that was May 2016 in the end. Same goes for the Horizon. So I think they will keep quiet on that. But yeah, I think it's. I think we will see it in 2018 though. But um, sells PS4s so. though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, I mean, we can like kind of see when um, because a lot of people that worked on Sunset Overdrive, of course, the play or the Xbox One exclusive, are now working on Spider-Man. So I think that they like kind of moved over. So since it overdrive released in October 2014, so I think that they maybe started in the beginning of 2015. So yeah, they have been working on this for you would say a pretty long time, um, yeah. two and a half years, maybe a little less because the Marvel deal was of course pretty. Yeah, I see like I'm looking at like real time right now at LinkedIn pages from people working at Insomniac to uh, kind of figure it out a little bit but yeah they kind of moved over like immediately uh, as far as i see here people that worked on uh, a sunset overdrive have moved over to uh spider-man so yeah i think that we will yeah i think it, it is pretty far but yeah it will be interesting they will so totally show it but yeah if it will be a trailer or gameplay could be both could be both totally oh certainly what is next okay. on your list? Yeah, um, this is also, yeah, I mean, I also mentioned two other late games and um, we will not really go in depth in that because I think that we, yeah, can maybe do that in another video. I think that would be super interesting, but just a quick note, do, do we think, for example, The Lost of Part 2 will hit? Of course, of course. It's it's gonna they have a little tiny. It? It's gonna have a little teaser trailer, like okay. sort of, sort of in the same sense as the, the previous one was. It's not gonna be anything major. It might reveal some of the what we can expect from the story, but it's it's I not think, gonna be big. I think that this also depends on what Microsoft has to show. If they really knock it out of the park, then I think they will show some sort of teaser to get people hyped. But otherwise, I think they will you, skip it. Do you think that they'll actually have a trailer ready just in case yeah. Microsoft threatens them? 
yeah, yeah. and that, then that's, just drop that's really it. That's something they 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 do a lot. Like it's that's I mean, true. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I I see them doing that. I mean, it would be very smart strategically for them to do that yeah. if they feel threatened to, you know, tease it. But if they don't, then you know, just sort of fold yeah. fold their hand a little bit and be like, you know, we have a lot of other stuff we could show off, and we'd rather dedicate our time to that. Yeah, because yeah, you don't want to like yeah use everything all at once of course um so yeah and that's trending uh do you think they will show something from that i mean yeah, that I'm... game also is like pretty early right it, 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 it has is. been in development for one year like really one year now. it is but i think kojima is a, a mad scientist that you know yeah. stays up all night and just completely you know thinks about random stuff that he could do and probably takes a lot of notes on different stories that he could do in the future and whatnot and I think he kind of already had an idea going into this game what he wanted to do with it. And since he has a really great engine to work with, uh, the same engine used for Horizon, and he has a huge knowledge, knowledge base in Gorilla that he can sort of reach out to um, regarding this game, he's basically this, he has a ton of, you know, resources here that will allow him to speed this process up a lot quicker than normal. And so I think a actual gameplay trailer will be shown, not like a in-engine gameplay trailer which is what we saw last year it'll show a bit about the gameplay not too much but it will give us a little bit of info on how the game is going yeah. to play in the future yeah. even if it's I a think, very yeah. beginning yeah. thing yeah i think he's really like yeah he really wants every like moment that they, he can show the game he wants to be there and we already saw this like last year so uh yeah i totally think that they they will show us something as well but yeah, that game will also be super far off. So is there anything else that we can tackle? I mean, right now we haven't really had a lot of surprises. I think that the Sucker Punch game, although we kind of know that it's coming and we don't know what it is, it will not really be a surprise. Uh, maybe there will also be a new like uh, game from a, a different studio that they are going to show, like a third party. Like last year they also had the uh, Resident Evil 7 came out of nowhere they, they also had yeah, that true. um so maybe they will do something like that maybe uh partner up with warner brothers because from the rumors we heard the studio behind batman arkham origins is now working on a new batman game so maybe they will have some sort of teaser up for that and we also and this is like a game that has been gone for so long but keep uh, but capcom keeps renewing the trademark over and over again and that is deep down and um, I still think that we might see that or maybe Monster Hunter PS4 I mean Capcom has really said that they want to grow Monster Hunter in the West and they that they knew that this was not possible by putting it only on a handheld so maybe they're finally going for a PS4 version of Monster Hunter I would totally be down for that and I can totally see that happening so maybe something uh... from that but it's it's possible. I mean, I I yeah. really think that 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 would that would be pretty unlikely still um, for me, mainly because especially with now Dauntless gonna be coming out, I think that they'll see that oh the West is already trying to copy us, and so I think that if we you know do this, it's not really gonna be that big of a hit possibly as it could have been, and I think that with like Deep Down, I think Deep Down is still a possibility. I think it's more likely than a Monster Hunter game just because we've seen it before and so it may be in development hell right now i mean we don't really know if it's made it out of that or not but um it's it's i think if it's going to show up at all i think it's going to show up this conference if it doesn't show up at this conference deep down i think it is this deep in the ground as in dead so yeah, oh, yeah. but yeah. one thing that we hope is not dead um at least I mean, I, I don't really care either or, but I'm sure you probably care a bit more. I think VR will be shown on a small show reel, but it's yeah. not its not going to be long. I, I think that, quite honestly, Sony is going to do their typical sidestep maneuver away from something they don't think is working well. They might still support it in some way, might like show up maybe one VR game or whatnot. But I think that it hasn't performed well enough for them to really commit to it. And Sony's not the type... They're, they're not really loyal to things that don't work out that well and so i think that they're going to pull away from this pretty quickly if they don't see it going their way and i think that they're already not seeing it going their way and i think they probably expected it to be much larger than it ended up 
um, being especially said, from their developers yeah. but yeah they said that they that that it like yeah exceeded their expectations though but then then their expectations were not that high i really think that we will see some new games just some small ones but yeah that it will be really focused on the triple a ps4 stuff so uh, yeah yeah I, I, I think that they will still show that they have to i mean otherwise people will really be burnt but yeah, they've been burned before on Sony Peripherals, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, PlayStation Move, anyone? <laughs> yeah, that was smaller, though. I don't think that they will really, yeah, treat it like this. On the other hand, Fida got the same treatment a little bit like... Yeah, but to be fair, it was kind of... The, it was kind of a... VR was a lesser reaction, I think. Like, they had they had so much less to lose with, um, with VR this time around than they did with motion controls when the Wii was so big because the Wii was really really big and so they wanted to try and get a piece of that and they failed miserably mm -hmm. and stepped yeah. away from it so I think that if they were more they would have been more likely to commit to that than VR as of right now if you ask me in five years like with the PlayStation 5 I think it wouldn't be um, unlikely I think it would be very likely for them to release a second VR headset but I think that this headset, as of right now, I think they see the limitations that it has, and I don't think that they want to fully commit to it, but they will still support it in the sense that, hey, if you're a dev who wants to make something for this, great, we'll show you off a little bit, but we're not going to dedicate that much time um, like we would mm -hmm. have um, a year ago. So Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I, I can see that happening but hopefully not <laughs> hopefully that will <laughs> for people who bought it, it definitely not uh, let's but, uh but yeah before we let, let's uh yeah wrap it up a little bit let's mention some other games that they might show final fantasy 7 remake of course uh, announced a while ago we haven't seen a lot from it since so uh -huh. hopefully they will talk about that kingdom Hearts 3 also something they might do something with because that game also is like keeps on going and we still don't know when it's coming out then we also have maybe a new IP from the Sony Japan studios. They have been working on something big, it seems like. So maybe we'll see that. Um, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, of course. A game that they are going yep. to push and probably, yeah, it, it will release this year. I think we will see it and they will probably have a, two a September 2017 release date. That's my bet, at least. Maybe Ubisoft will also show up with some Assassin's Creed stuff. Syndicate had exclusive PS4 content, so maybe we will see that. Battlefront 2. What do you think? Just a quick side note. Do you think they also have the exclusive content for Battlefront 2? Because Lost, uh, like, they also have Call of Duty and Destiny, and Call of Duty and Battlefront 2 will be like the big shooters in the holiday. And normally, like, I mean, with Battlefield and Call of Duty, you can't really have. I mean, Microsoft thought had the Battlefield like kind of exclusive deal, while Sony had the Call of Duty exclusive deal. But Battlefront is a type of different game, so do you think that they can still have the Battlefront exclusive and the Call of Duty exclusive as well? Because last year, or last time, Battlefront released in December, but I think now they are going for a November release. I think no, because corporate America is kind of stupid and they'll probably see it as a conflict of interest. Yeah. Like, I, I could see EA being like, oh, you guys have Call of Duty, we're not going to partner with you right now. Yeah. And it's sort oh, yeah. of holding their nose up high in that regard. So yeah, I, I think that that's probably not going to happen just because no. of that. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, although, yeah, they had, of course, with the Battlefront 1, yeah, it worked out pretty well um, with this PlayStation deal. But I think that Microsoft also wants something right and. This game is probably releasing around the same time that Scorpio is, so they might do something with that. It's, of course, a really big game. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think we, we kind of covered it all. Uh, um, Shenmue, yeah. maybe, we will see that. Uh, like, 3, it's still slated to release this year, December, but holding my hopes for that. I think we, we really got, like, everything that... Uh, and hopefully, uh, maybe Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But you can keep on throwing games in there. There, there are just so much There's games so that Sony many. can show. It's <laughs> it's insane. And but I think that we are now talking about oh maybe this, maybe this. I think that they will hold something off as well. Like they will uh, before the uh, before that the show is going. That they are saying yeah, the guys from Detroit will not be there. Something like that. That that will probably be the case. I don't know if it's Detroit, but. And we haven't even talked about Bloodborne 2, if that will be there. Yeah, I mean, they, they certainly don't have to fish for much games. And they, yeah. they definitely 
are trying to they're struggling to figure out which games they're going to show and which ones they're not it's yeah. it's not like microsoft right now where they're actually just trying to like they have, everything they have sherlock holmes on an investigation trying <laughs> to find a game for them to show off right now yeah. so um they, they don't have that issue and so i think that this show is going to be jam-packed once again it's going to be yep. trailer 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 kojima walks out trailer <laughs> trailer trailer yeah. trailer and then trailer so it, yeah, it's gonna I, be a good event i think yeah totally i can't wait uh, for what they show and uh, and we haven't even discussed like horizon zero dawn dlc i mean they have already announced it the story expansion is yeah. coming that would also be something they could show off. I already have a video up on the channel about this, like discussing that I think we will see it at E3, but that probably not during the press conference. But you would have to watch that if you want to know more about that. Anyway, Zach, thanks a lot for discussing the Sony E3 2016 or 17. Man, we're in 2017. <laughs> predictions. Uh, still need to get used to that. Um, yeah, we will have more E3 predictions up on the channel. Uh, Bethesda and Ubisoft are already up. EA will be following suit. We will probably do Nintendo and Microsoft as well. And yeah, maybe some other things. I think that the big games of E3, there's so much stuff to talk about. I think that it will be a good time. So, Zach, thanks a lot again. And uh, like the video, subscribe for more of these gaming discussions. And uh, let us know in the comments what you think Sony will announce during E3 2017. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye. Goodbye.